What's up, y'all? Welcome to another review by Ryan. Happy Friday. It is Friday, April 12th. It's April 12th. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are at in the world when you watch this reaction. Um, as you can see, I am on travel right now. Again, for the third consecutive week in a row, only unlike the first two, I do have kind of a bit of a luxury to be able to record reaction so I will be recording but I will be recording vertically for the purposes of where I'm at I am currency at the currently at the Fairfield um, Marriott here in New York City um, as I prepare for the Great Hisaishi concert that's going to be happening here tomorrow so um, but I do still plan to try to keep these reactions somewhat up to date now since I fell really behind uh, you will help me, you will hear me talking lower than normal I am in a hotel um, I have just learned that there is someone else on the other side of this wall and so maybe this is not the best show to be reacting to with someone else on the other side of the wall but alas, this is where we're at. I'm gonna try to keep the dynamic of my reactions going and the excitement and the outrage going while also being considerate of my neighbors. So with that said, uh, we will be reacting to the seventh episode of the second season of Run a Girlfriend. Uh, the title of this episode is gonna be X and Girlfriend. Again, I did not do a reaction last week, so some initial thoughts about last week. Um, the Booze and Girlfriend episode I actually think was probably one of the better episodes of this series, if I'm being very honest with all of you. And the reason that I think it was one of the best episodes of the entire series is because Kazuya was not completely spineless. Now, yes, he did something very reckless, and he put himself in harm's way, at least from alcohol poisoning, if nothing else. But uh, he really did look out for Chizuru in his own way. The last episode, I thought that he had a a decent performance last episode all things considered and in a, in a show where he continues to perform abysmally at all elements and aspects that he can it's always good to see when he's actually able to do something decent so um, I was actually relatively okay with his performance last episode and I do think that what he did for Chizuru because she was very uncomfortable in the environment she was in I think that it really did it really did send a positive message to her and she knows that he was looking out for her at the gathering that no one knew all these people were going to be at at first you know Chizuru thought that it was just going to be her friends with some random strangers and um, Kazuya's friends thought it was going to be with some random strangers but then they all kind of met up at once and, um, and again from not being able to recognize Chizuru I'm like you guys must be blind as hell but um, it was still a very interesting episode and it's crazy to say this but Kazuya was the most normal person in the entire episode guys like the entire episode just crazy stuff um so with that performance i'd love to see a continuation of that type of better than normal performance out of Kazuya and again it'd be nice to see him actually grow a spine for once and actually just tell Chizuru how he really feels but based on the trailer of the last episode going into this episode that is not going to be the case and I am very nervous about the things that are probably about to transpire, especially since it seems like Mommy Trash is going to be back. So um, not too much to say elsewise um, um, other than that. Um, obviously, I have to keep myself calm in here, so I won't, I'm going to try my best not to throw stuff. Um, and, you know, we'll see how the episode goes. Um, as far as the ratings are going with the show, uh, it did not rank in Anime Corner again, uh, but it did rank in Anime Trending, and I'll briefly put it up on the screen for y'all to see. So, as of right now, it is... Um, where is it at? Where is it at? Where'd it go? Let's see... Having to do this all on one screen is such a pain, guys. It's so stressful trying to do this. But I know that it's on the top 10. When you look at it on the screen, you'll see where it's at in the top 10. It did make the top 10 in anime trending. Um, with that said, it is doing very bad on Mal. I mean, guys, it's pretty bad. It is at a 6.52 at the time of me doing this reaction. And it has only continued to fall more and more. And I've already heard a few bits and pieces here from some of my friends who are watching this that this week's episode is trash so um let's see how these things play out uh i will do my best i'm hoping that there won't be a lag from the video because when i use my front facing camera there tends to be a lag and if it's too bad i'm not going to try to do a video overlay but i will attempt it and we'll see how it works out so uh, with that said we'll go ahead and get the episode started the episode title is x and girlfriend episode seven and let me get this pulled up here 
this is gonna work. Da -da 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 -da. Perfect. All right, and let's get this started. All right, we're gonna get this started in three, two, one. This man is still sick. <laughs> I mean, dude, you really did drink a lot, like a lot. <laughs> the fifth bamboo shoot. <laughs> yeah, Chizuru did come through. She really did help you out. Because she was absolutely over there, my dude. Like she was completely over there. <laughs> No, she did a good job of looking out for you. Team Gold Ship. I hate being added in group chats. I really do. Also, it was really nice because Chizuru was completely out of element. Like, she was completely out of element of that, which is why I'm really happy to cause you did kind of look out for her. Oh, dang. Are you about to freak out about a cat? Oh my goodness, this man is hopeless. Why not? Just go for it. <laughs> it's fine. She know that you looked out for her last night, so it's all good. This man is so insufferable, I swear. So insufferable. And I bet you didn't drink any water either throughout that, even though she told you to drink water. And take care of yourself. Bruh. Bruh. Y'all gonna stop going... Did this man roar? I swear on my life. <laughs> I bet she is. I mean, she's not really mad at you, though. I mean, it pretty much was a pretty awful one, honestly. When you're the most normal person out of everybody, Kazuya, it definitely was awful. I mean, you are a piece of trash, I agree. But you were okay the other day. It's fine. Oh, my goodness. You should have just stayed home, man. I mean, you could have one if you stopped being a little shit. I swear on my life, my dude. And since you don't want to get Chizuru, you could have a real one with Ruka, but you know, you, you'd be fucking around there too. Like, I swear. <laughs> and Drunkard. <laughs> she really write that. Yo, you ain't shit, Chizuru. Can you get it together? I swear. It's just a simple question. Go ask her and stop being this way. And she's even waiting for the invite. I swear, y'all are something else. 
Even though, I mean, Chizuru has already given several attempts for you to get closer to her. So at this point, just take the bait and go for it. Honestly, I hope this episode ain't as bad as one of my friends said earlier. <laughs> I'll speak of which, I need to catch up on the live action. I watched, like, the first two episodes, and, like, I have been so behind since because of getting ready for all my trips and everything. It's crazy. I need to catch up. Karaoke Village. Okay. <laughs> There's my girl. Because she know you won't do nothing good. Are you really that oblivious, my dude? <laughs> Which literally could have been that other night and I would have participated because you're my best girl. But yeah, it's cool. He's a waste of space. I mean, nothing did happen because he's a whole ass coward. <laughs> I mean, this is true, but he's never going to take it to the next stage anyway. So, I mean. What the fuck are you here for, mommy? Get your bitch ass out of here. Cussing disclaimer, guys. I'm so sorry. And I continue to say her voice actor does such a good job of being this bitchy little waste of space. She does such a good job. I love her voice actor that does mommy. <laughs> of course. Was it now? <laughs> Was it? <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, that's right, they haven't actually interacted. Actually, we should exit mommy straight out of here. Bruh. <laughs> 
<laughs> she sounds so irritating. Yeah, that's what makes her so good. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, but I get the feeling that's going to change if he stays any longer. I mean, you know damn well why she follows. She ain't stupid. Don't insult my girl like that. <laughs> Please don't ask that question. Well, of course she does. Ruka's pretty good at figuring that stuff out. Or just be honest. Oh, wow. She said just normal classmates. Oh, look at you, mommy. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Being a little untrustworthy something. Ribbons. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. This is a train wreck. A whole train wreck. Banned her from chatting. Ruka, you have no idea. Because this man don't know how to clean up his own mess, this is going to get really, really messy if things are confessed to here. And of course, she's going to put it. To, she's going to put it together. Yep, there he is. She's not stupid. Don't insult my girl Ruka like that. I mean, this is true, and this is why we hate mommy, quite frankly. I mean, he lusts us for her, but that's about it. Bruh, she is literally sitting here having a whole internal struggle right now. like I see oh no Ruka's not gonna calm down now no it is like that and Ruka's very proud of it and you're gonna stop playing around this girl Ruka again I love her directness and stuff like this Oh, this is a disaster. A disaster. <laughs> Mommy is so pissed right now. <laughs> Oh no. 
Roka. Roka. That's what I'm talking about. Tell tell her. Yes, you did. Oh boy. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, this is why he was trying to. <laughs> oh man. Mommy ain't buying none of this crap right now. Wow, this was a wreck. Dang. But this is why I love Ruka. Thank you, Ruka. Doing what this man will never do. Thank you. Oh. Ruka been the realest one in this. Well, been one of the realest ones. Because Mommy's obviously been real too, but... Ruka's been very truthful about everything. And this is why you need to set this straight, my dude. Because Ruka really does care about you, bro. Just kill you. Man, get out of my face, man. I'm proud of Ruka for at least standing up, doing something that you won't do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mommy is so pissed. Mommy. Oh, yo, mommy's so pissed. <laughs> oh. I mean, on a trial basis, yes, but she's more realer than Chizuru is right now. I mean, no, she can't. Just move on with your damn miserable life. Why are you wasting any of this time? Just move on with your life. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck my life. Fuck it all. Oh, fuck it all. Oh boy. I mean, yes. Just move on. Just move on with your life, mommy. Mommy's having a bad day. A whole bad day. <laughs> Let's not. I'll sit. I'll, I'll sit across from you. Oh no. Oh no. I. Why did you even get on the train? I, I, if I was just real, like, I just want to jump off the train right now. Um. <laughs> Bruh. 
bruh. I know she was like, what is she up to? Mommy's losing it. She's losing it. <laughs> well, that could have went a lot worse, so. Oh no, it's about to go a lot worse. What's your answer going to be? Are you even going to get an answer in this episode or are we not going to get anything? <sighs> and all this because no one will confess to anything. All this because no one will confess to anything. And mommy just need to go off and mind her business. Just a miserable little worm. <sighs> well, not as bad as people in my Discord were saying the episode was. I mean, it was bad from the concept of mommy being present and getting everyone riled up. But it wasn't horrible, I guess. Mommy had such a bad day today. It was absolutely her bag. But why does it matter to you? Mommy, just go mind your... Oh my goodness. I mean, that would make sense so that people like you can't be snooping all up in her life. Oh my goodness. Of course. Of course, you're just such a freaking slime. Actually, that's an insult to slimes, quite frankly. Youth and girlfriend. Please, Ruka, I would love you to show up and, you know, everything, quite frankly. Okay. Um, so, again, keeping myself calm because I'm in a hotel room with neighbors across from me. 
Uh, this episode was not as much of a disaster as I was anticipating it was going to be, but it was still pretty bad. Um, and, you know, once again, first off, Mommy just needs to go stay in her freaking place. I've been saying this since episode one of the first season. Mommy is just a waste of space. I don't understand why she feels the need to just be so deeply involved. And again, as a non-manga reader, I don't fully know but what her past is or why she acts this way. But even after I know what the full reasoning behind this is, and I think I have bits and pieces of reasons here and there based on what I've watched and off of what some of my light novel readers and my manga readers have accidentally tried to spoil to me. But even if it ends up being a legitimate thing, it, it, just, just move on, get help, do something, call a therapist. Like, because this is just not right. Now, I do continue to say that if Kazuya would deal with the Ruka situation and he would deal with the internal struggles that him and Chizuru are having with each other early on, we could avoid all of these problems. But we know that he doesn't want to deal with any of that. And it's just really, really unfortunate. And so now we're in these situations where Ruka, Ruka, Ruka once again continues to prove why she is my best girl. I accept that some people do not like her methods, but she is the most truthful person out of the four girls here. She is very transparent about her feelings and emotions, and she's a good person, and I feel that she's just a good person messing with the wrong fucking guy. Um, so, you know, and I just feel everyone that's not mommy, unfortunately, is just plagued to continue being in this lull of chaos because, you know, everyone, yes, everyone is indecisive. Because there was one or two people that were in a Discord I was in who was like, well, you keep going in on Kazuya, Kazuya, Kazuya. But these girls are also indecisive. Chizuru knows how she feels. She could make a move. You're absolutely right. But in the situation like what she's in with the runner girlfriend stuff and everything, um, she has given him clear cut signs that if he, that where basically she's given him the invite in. And as a guy, as a male, you know, since we have that invite in, you know, he could literally just take it and she would probably completely step away from the rental girlfriend thing and try to find something, well, the, the, the rental system thing and try to find another way to make the money she needs for her career and her ultimate future goals. But because of just how insufferable he is with basic layers of decision making, he's now a situation is brimming that this is why I don't want Sumi anywhere near him, because honestly, I don't want Sumi to be at his raft uh, I'm, to be at mommy's raft of anything because Sumi is a good girl that's in the wrong freaking show so um it's just you know I need decisions to be made sooner than later and the reason why this show is getting such a poor rating this season is because we are continuing the cycle of chaos mommy is a waste of space and she needs to go get help and mind her fucking business Chizuru and Kazuya need to get it together Sumi needs to just be in another show and, you know, and then my girl, it's just, yes, I understand how some people feel about, you know, her whole excuse about her heart and this and that, but it's, 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 it's just, she's still the only one being truthful in this show. And it's so frustrating because I know that she's going to lose at the end of this. And I just wish she wasn't getting strung along like this and having to go and defend this man like she did in the damn karaoke bar. So, um, because he doesn't deserve it. He really doesn't, just not to me. But alas, that is the episode. And I guess we'll see how things play out with youth and girlfriend next week. So, uh, but that is my reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, if you did like the reaction, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you'll be one of the first to be notified when a new reaction becomes available, hit the bell icon. So for the last time, youth and girlfriend will be our episode next week. And until that reaction, catch you later.